Hey guys, Cody Broderick here with In What Language. Today I'm very lucky to be with Mr. Fred Cooper. He's the CEO of RX. RX, spelled A-R-I-I-X, is one of the nation's fastest growing direct selling companies. We're very lucky to be with Fred today because he is an expert when it comes to this industry. So we're going to take a few minutes and talk about international business and hopefully some of his insight can help in your business world. Fred, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Hey, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Mm, my pleasure. All right, let's jump right in. What's the greatest international business challenge that RX is currently facing? Sure. Here at RX, we're only, we're only in business for six months. And in those six months, we're now in seven countries, probably slated to do three or four by the second half of 2012. Usually it's capital. Capital for us isn't an issue. What is an issue is the manpower to do it. We all have standards in our business that we want to adhere to. We want to deliver a perfect professional experience in direct selling for our customers worldwide. They don't realize that we're going into so many countries simultaneously. They only know the service level that they're receiving in their particular country. So we need to find very capable individuals who can take us into that market all simultaneously while we're trying to get the operational infrastructure in place. So people power. What are you guys doing right now to overcome that challenge? We look for relationships with individuals in each of the countries where we do business. We have to take references because we don't have enough time to establish a trust building rapport with the individuals we're going to do business with. And in the Asian Orient, it is very, very, very critical that you have the proper relationships. Contracts mean virtually nothing, but the friendship that we have together that is what means everything to them. So what we have to do is establish not only a rapport, but a friendship through mutual relationships to be able to go into that particular country. We have been very, very fortunate in each of the countries we have selected to find such an individual to walk us through. So last question, Fred. What's mm -hmm. the best tip you can provide to any company doing international business? So if I gave everyone out there one strong piece of advice. Find someone internationally that you can trust, either through a mutual friend or from a direct experience you have yourself. Most of you as Americans are going to want to walk into that foreign country and do it just how you've been taught or experienced in America. But Asia is not America. Find that relationship, relationship sit down, shut up, do it how they tell you to do it, and you'll be very successful in that market.